Welcome back to DeMont's Big Bass. Um, I was shopping around with Carl's trying to find some more BFS baits. Um, for those who don't know, BFS stands for Bait Finesse. It's where you finesse fish with bait casters. Um, just wanted to bring you some stuff from Carl's. Uh, if I can get it in focus here, that you might not know about. Just got this in today. Um, even when a lot of people bait finesse, they try to fish for everything that's, that's biting, like bluegill, crappy, uh, bass, pretty much anything, perch, whatever they can catch. Um, me, on the other hand, when I'm bait finesse fishing, I'm mostly still concentrating on bass. That's just what I like to fish for. Um, just want to show you what I got here. Some of the different little things you can get from Carl's. Now this looked like a bait that was made popular. I know it's a Carl's Amazing bait. But I think it was, um, I know Fred Urbanus used them a lot. Um, can't remember the name of them now. Amiga or something like that. But if you see here, I mean it's called the Runt. Oh, excuse me. It's a little. They make these things hard to get into. It's a. Um, it's kind of like a little wake bait. I mean, it's kind of a little squared off, somewhat rounded bill. Um, let's see what kind of noise it makes. It has like a little one one ball clacker in it. Um. But this is called the Runt. Um, not very expensive on Carl's. I think it's a quarter ounce. And of course it doesn't say on there, but... It says two inch... Um, doesn't say. That's a sexy shade color pattern of it. Um, and I got a bluegill pattern of it. Um, also got a chartreuse black back and I like this chartreuse a little bit better because it seemed like it was more almost on the side of highlighter green well I do want to take a second to apologize it seems that some of you let me know some of my videos are bluish in color and that was because I have a reef aquarium and if I do a video with the aquarium right beside me it makes it turn out really blue do apologize about that that's why I'm trying to do this one in the kitchen so I don't make more of a mess <laughs> um, next thing I want to show you guys here this one's called the Chihuahua and it's a little bitty crankbait it's a one to four in, one to four foot uh, this is an eighth ounce um, or if you put it in grams is 3.5 grams um, which is pretty much 3.5 and 1 16th is about what most bait finesse guys consider bait finesse. Wow, that looks really good. Nice little shark hooks. Let's see what kind of sound it makes. It's silent. Hmm. It's got orange belly, chartreuse size, almost like a green, like a fire tiger, but it's got a red back. Orange belly. That is interesting. And they have lots of different colors of these. And I think these were like right around three dollars. Um I mean, so it's not like you're breaking the bank for it. Um I have seen a lot of the a lot of people order the Japanese bait finesse baits. They're <laughs> for a little small bait like this, sometimes you can spend twenty dollars. Um I don't know about you guys, but $20 for an 8 ounce bait is very expensive. Here's some other colors of the Chihuahuas I got. Let's see, got some couple things that are not bait finesse. I'll show you those as well in a second. Here's another color that peanut. It's kind of like a 
has like a holographic pattern in the middle of it. This one's called uh, Moonlight Shad. I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Really nice color. Another peanut. <laughs> I mean, another runt. Another. Okay. Here's some more colors of Chihuahuas. I really like this this black with the blue stripes. Let's see if you can see that really good. That is a really nice looking bait. And some of the other colors they have. Now this one's called the Whippersnapper. It is basically, it's kind of like the Chihuahua, just a little fatter, it's a square bill. It's a one eighth ounce square bill. Um, I know I've told you guys on the channel before that I really, really, really like square bills. So I wanted to try this one out. Where the Chihuahua was more kind of like a shad wrap body. This one's more kind of like a fat little square bill body. And this is an eighth ounce as well. You can see it right there. 1.5 inch, eighth ounce. Um, I think these are going to be some really good really good for largemouth crappy um just about anything and there's another one is whippersnappers and i thought that color was really kind of cool too i mean it's really bright for dirty water i mean it's got a really like a reddish orange back with chartreuse sides with a like a maroon stripe going in the middle and orange belly and there's a fire tiger chihuahua whippersnapper And I got that same whippersnapper in the black with the blue stripes. And then we got. I like this. This is a Chihuahua in this green color. This green with this speckled black. I thought that was really cool looking. I'm hoping that they'll let it put up some waters and let's go fishing again. Because this is kind of getting really boring, man. Don't get me wrong, I like doing videos. And I do appreciate all your comments. Anything you can tell me to help me with the channel, I'm more than glad to hear and happy to try to work on. This is a whippersnapper, a little square bill. I like that it was really, really clear, clear. This is called um, Cotton Candy. Let's see if you can get a look at that color. It looks really good. Um, I also picked up, they had these on sale. And these are the Mullet Skull Pros. They're like a, almost like, the body style reminds me of an original Wiggle Wart somewhat. The lip is kind of a hybrid, kind of like a Wiggle Wart square bill lip. I thought those would be kind of cool to try. Um, I got them some different like, spring colors. I have just different crawl colors. Um, I got one kind of a bluegill color. Um, and I also got this Lunker Hunt Jolt 2.5. I have never really had success with Lucker Hunt stuff. But this crankbait, I only got one of them just because I wanted to try it out. Um, I mean, it looks really nice. I like this kind of flat sided square bill. Um, supposed to be a third ounce. Supposed to go down um, 2.5 foot. I guess we'll see. I mean, I'll give them a try. Also, um, heard some people ask me some about um, some questions about AliExpress. Um, I do order stuff from them. I get stuff from them quite often. Um, now, one person said it takes a long time to get there. Yes, it does. It's because you're not you ordering from the United States market. Um, now, some things on AliExpress, you can actually order directly from the U.S. market. 
Um, depends on where you choose your location to ship from. Um, I have some more stuff coming in from them. I'm going to order from the opening. But right now I want to also open... I know in my last video I told you about having some more fishing care package stuff coming in. This is I still have another two packages coming in. This is some of the other things they sent. Um, the way they labeled it, I don't really know what's what. So I guess you guys are going to find out with me the same time I find out. So I guess let's tear into this. I will say that fish and care package, once you, if your order is a certain price, if you have a lot of stuff in your cart, a lot of the stuff they'll give it to you for free. I mean, so that's actually kind of cool what they do. So, this package here, let's see if it has any paperwork in it first, before I pull everything out of it. Um, nope. So I don't really know what this package is. First thing they sent me is some Umbrella Minnows. And mud minnow kit. Uh, I'm not sure about this color, but eh. when you get these kits, you guess you gotta get what you get. It's called Tennessee Shad. That's not a Tennessee Shad that I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, next thing you get. Um, <laughs> a package of split shot. But it's got double cut. That's what it says for easy shot removal. Okay. Um, now I do like throwing a split shot rig. So this might come in handy. This is not what I normally use. Normally so I do it. I say it's a split shot rig. But it's not really a split shot rig. I take a small worm weight. Or a small barrel, barrel weight. And I peg it to my line. About a foot to two foot. Above where I'm, the, the bait that I'm fishing with. And that's how I split shot. Okay. So you get a super, you get a Zara spook. Looks like a saltwater edition. It has saltwater hooks on it, but they pretty much all come with those hooks. This one is that blue. It's clear. Uh, this one will work. It's pretty good color. I usually like to take the bottom and uh, take my spike it marker. And this, I know it's clear, but I run a line of chartreuse down the very middle of it. And you get a premium fishing tackle, double Colorado spinnerbait. Uh, looks like it's got pretty good hardware on it, so it'd probably be really good. It's half ounce. I'm not a big fan of the head. And the keeper feels like a, well... I don't even feel a bait keeper on there at all. So that's kind of hmm. Uh, I guess it is what Grandma says. You you get what you get, and you don't get upset. What's next? To pull out of here. That is a weird colored worm. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um. This is one of their, I guess you would call it a uh, five inch worm, but seven inches when you pull it out. Um, the way they measure these worms, and for those who don't know, in the mold, they measure from the tip of the nose to the, where the bend is in the mold. The bend the, sits in the mold like this. So they measure from here to here. But of course you got all this out here to make it seven inches. But let's see, see good color of this worm. Yeah, it's like a dark green with some um, silver and gold flakes in it. Uh, smells like star anise. Smells like net bait. There again, um, not a color that I would normally use. Let's see what else is in here. Strike Pro. 
Hmm. It says Strike Pro Trailer. I have never seen this before. It's like a jerk bait. It says suspending. But it's got kind of a wide bill to it. Do you see that? Let's take it out of the pack. I mean, I don't really know what this whole thing's for. It says trailer. Revolutionary lure design by Strike Pro, which incorporates scent attraction. Okay, so that's what that little tube is, is attractant. What's this white ring in here? Oh, that's to put the attractant in, I guess. I don't know. Okay, use that white ring to open up this cavity right here. And then you put the scent in it. Hmm. Never seen that before. Well, I guess this you can give them originality for that because I've never seen this lure at all. I've seen several strike pros. But I've never seen this. Ow! Sharp hook. I've never seen this lure. It's got a lot of nice detail to the body. I guess you would call that a trout color. Um... Do the same thing about color on here. It just says speckled darter. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, that's a speckled darter. <laughs> I'll give them that. It sure is speckled. But this is a new one for me. I've never seen anything. I've never seen this bait before. And I'm, I'm what you call a tackle junkie. I love tackle. If I haven't seen it, and it's pretty unique. And I said it over there. What else is in here? So you get some. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, you get some Mustad grip pin hooks. These are swim bait hooks. I guess it had to be for a small swim bait. My favorite. Uh, some of my favorite swim baits is. Especially for hollow bodies with the Davis swim bait hooks. Um, yeah, I like that keeper. It's going to be kind of a little bit strange, but. But I guess we have for most swim baits that could work. It's a four alt size. Um, I mean, but you could pretty much use this for anything, um, to be honest. Um, And you get some of the Gander Mountain, some more of these wacky sticks. The exact same color they sent with the other one I got that opened up for you guys. <laughs> uh, not much original there, huh? <laughs> Alright, so now let's see what this other pack is. Some fishing care pack. And it's almost like they sent it from different places. But it's all from Stewart. Stewart, Florida. It's different bags. Like that bag is a white bag. This bag's a manila envelope, vanilla, the uh, manila padded envelope. Hmm. All right. So the first thing you get in this. <laughs> Look at there. Some more of those mustad grip pin hooks. Some more four alt swim bait hooks. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so you get fish and care package. But this is something that I would actually use. Um, those who don't know me, I'm a big fan of big bite baits. And this is basically a creek tail worm. This is one of the best shaky heads. Also, I like to put this on a net head, a net head as well. Um, just gives you a little bit longer dead profile. And this is actually a color that I would use. It is watermelon red with that kind of darker green tail. So this is actually something that I could actually use. And if y'all want me to, uh, leave me a comment and I'll show you the type of net heads that I use. Um, and I'll also show you those Davis Swim Bay hooks if you want me to. 
Um, they're pretty unique. They're different than most thumbway hooks. Here's something else that I would use. A Diddy 14. Now these baits have been around since <laughs> since I was a little bitty <laughs> uh, whippersnapper. Just a part of the tump on there. Um, I've used DD 14s, DD 22s, uh, DD 10s. I mean, you pretty much name almost any Norman bait, I've used it. And that's actually a really good fish catching color right there. Alright, what's next? Okay, pack broke in my hand. Let's see if I don't get a hook in my hand. Okay. Oh, okay, so you get a bomber. Where's the card for it? This is the Donka Donk. I've got several of these. I've I've caught a couple fish off of them. They're meant for salt water, but they actually they'll catch fish anywhere. What well, this kind of reminds me of to have the action of it. I mean, it makes all kinds of noise, but the action of it kind of reminds me of um, an old devil's toothpick. The way it kind of works. I mean, you can somewhat walk it like a like a spook. But you can also, like, what my grandpa used to call Bob Stop. Well, that old devil's too big. Boop, boop. Here you go. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Just sit there and shake it almost in one spot. And it doesn't really move that much. Um, so you can work it really slow. Especially if you're trying to piss off a bed fish. So you can have this thing just sitting right on top of the bed fish. Just sitting there and just shaking on top of them. And what's going to happen is they'll eventually get mad and they'll smash it which is the same aspect of using um, some people like to use a popper on a bed fish some people like to use a frog on a bed fish it just gets that big female pissed off and makes her eat oh wow look at this <laughs> it says spin buzz but this is another one of those premium Colorado blade swim baits I mean not swim baits spinner baits um, I guess this one is an elongated arm. You can actually buzz it almost near the top of the water. But you can pretty much do that with almost any spinnerbait. <laughs> um, this one, just like the other one, doesn't have a keeper. So um, if you want to use a trailer, you got to either super glue it on or just slide it up on the hook and keep pushing it up on there. What else is in here? Um... You get a zoom sticker, but no zoom. The last thing that's in there is some yum uh, breaking shad. And this color is called blue pearl. Um, it actually looks kind of neat. It changes colors in the light. I've never used this color. I've never even seen this color. Hmm. Huh. Of course, Jim makes it difficult. Oh, we pull it out here. It looks a little bit different. You're not seeing across that, that white background. But it still changes color. It's got like a, a color shift in it. Um, yeah. That be. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Zoom Pro Blue flute. Except this is not a true blue like the other one is. And it's got like a little bit of pinkish purple right here on the belly. And then it's got white right here. So it's almost like a tricolor. That looks really nice. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be a fish catcher as well. Uh, so, of all the stuff they sent me. Some of it's really cool. Some of it is pretty much not um i mean you be the judge um i mean i just start trying them out just so i can see what it's all about i think this will be the last order i do from them just because i'm not really i'm not really seeing Anything other, I mean, this is kind of new. I mean, there are some things in here that's kind of, actually kind of usable. I mean, uh, this was like a, even a, 
a booyah spin bait, spinner bait, or any kind of like decent spinner bait, like a three or four dollar spinner bait. But this is like a spinner bait you buy from the dollar shelf. It's got a little bit nicer uh, swivel on it, but that really doesn't raise the price on it in my eyes. It doesn't even have a bait keeper. I mean, uh, I mean, there's several things here. I mean, like colors that you wouldn't really pick, things you wouldn't really use. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I like the mystery of it, but, I mean, I got doubled up on uh, several different things. Um, I mean, some of the things, I mean, the double up, I mean, this is a nice double up. These are like a, I guess a four or five dollar pack of hooks. So, I mean, that's nice, but, I mean, some of this... I mean, I can go to Ollie's and get these right here in the colors that you would actually use for like, I didn't see it had the, the, had the jig heads in there too. So that's not bad then. I mean, you get the whole umbrella kit, I guess, minus the umbrella kit. Yep. It's got the jig heads in there too. So that's cool. Um... But that's still not really a color you'd want to use. It's black and white. And then a pack of split shot. Eh, I mean, yeah, it is what you can get. I mean, I, when I used to live in Florida, there was an old man down there fished every tournament. He always fished with a, he, he would get a Zebco 33. He would paint it black. And um, he actually had put it on G. Loomis rods. He had really nice rods, but he couldn't use a bait caster for shit. So he always just put <laughs> and got a Zebco 33. And he always fished a speed worm on a split shot rig. An ultra vibe speed worm or a speed worm. That's the only two things he used. His colors were uh, June bug and green pumpkin. That's about the only things he fished with. And he would load the boat every single tournament. He would have a limit. Even on hard, hard pressures, but that kind of finesse rig down there, it, it just works. I mean, a speed worm in, in Florida waters fishing through grass, it just works. Especially those colors. Well, I'm going to go and sign off. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share it if you like it. I'm trying to build my channel. Let me know if you got any suggestions. I'm more than happy to help and try to listen. Um, I'm trying to get um, another uh, GoPro so I can start doing some different things. Uh, I know one person said you'd like to see me on the camera. I'm, I'm trying to work on that too. Um, you guys have a great day.